video we will learn about how to earn a machine learning python badge what a badge system is and how to receive 1200 us dollars as promotion of build for free access to cloud so these are the three links that we need to uh, you know keep in mind about so this is https cognitive classes ai so this is where you would complete the course this is the access for the cloud for which you're getting 1200 us dollars and then this is the access page to uh, look for your badges that you have gained so very quickly we would go to cognitiveclasses.ai so this is the this is the data science and cognitive computing course this particular website is called cognitiveclass.ai over here you could look at different options so so whenever you go to the screen the front screen would sh show you Join over 1 million happy learners, supercharge your career in data science and AI by signing up for our newsletter. It's free and as a thank you for a limited time, we even have a gift for you that is 1200 US dollars worth of IBM Cloud Services. All you have to do is, you have to type your email address and you have to type your first name and you have to say send the gift. Once you do that on your email, you will receive an email for something like you know verify your username and claim your gift once you know there's a small process to do that where you could just uh, have to pass a test a small test that says uh, you are not a robot so that's that's very lame but that's how you get into the system so once you do that you'd be able to log into this so you know i already have done that procedure so i could just log in so going and I already have logged in. So once you log in, this is the dashboard that you will look at. Over here, there are different courses. So once you click on courses, that's you, that's, you know, you will see blockchain essentials, Python for data science, build an IoT application, build Swift mobile apps with bots and AI services. There are different, different uh, machine learning or programming languages, tutorials and tests that you could clear and, you know, prove your uh, knowledge on it using badges so what badges is and these are the badges so these badges are awarded to an individual who has completed a particular course with like flying colors so right now my focus is machine learning with python so i'll click on machine learning with python and you know how to earn this badge this badge is earned after successfully completing all course activities and passing the test of the following cognitive class course so i would go to learn more once i go to learn more I'll see go to class option. So I'll go to the class. This is a little bit details about what this course is, you know, what it contains. It contains five modules starting from machine learning, regression, classification, clustering, and recommender system. So I already tried giving a little bit onto the, uh, you know, getting onto this, these particular modules, learning objectives, recommender systems, content based. That's all learning modules that you could go through. But over here, just for the video sake, we are going to grade uh, graded review questions. So I already finished this one, the graded, graded review questions, but I am yet to take a final exam. So, you know, as you see, I'm already done that, these review questions, and you can track your progress from here, from the progress tab. So when you go to progress, you'll see all different options. So there is, there is this particular uh, uh, RQ, that is review your questionnaire, and then and review questions five review questions four so in this one i achieved 100 this one so my total score is 47 percent so, but one once i give my final exam my my total score would be like you know if it goes through a 70 percent then that's how i get this badge so we can quickly go to courseware and we will try to finish the exam right now as we speak so this is final exam and then we will go to the final exam you get an option so you have the grades for all the modules that you finish so once you i'm ready to start this test exam you could say i'm ready to test the exam and, and you could request additional time to complete the exam but generally you only get one hour to finish your exam and only one attempt is allowed for true and false questions but there are two attempts allowed for any other questions which is not true or false question so, so this one you can define your card as the size of the intersection divided by the size of union of two two label um, sets. So I think the answer is true, and I could do a final check. So if I find this correct, you know I could proceed. 
if not if i get less max then i would not be able to proceed on this as you see oh so so yes i mean i would definitely be able to proceed but then i would not clear exam if i get a wrong answer so this is 59 minutes it's a timed exam as you could see and you could uh, definitely go on to this and put your answers when building a decision tree over here this is a multiple choice question so this i know super learning works on label data i'm not sure about this one but i know unsupervised learning works on unlabeled data so i get unlabeled it yeah i am aware of that and a high value knn so i'm not sure about that but let's try it so it, this is correct and now i go to to calculate a model accuracy using the test set you pass the test set to your model to predict the class labels and then compare the predicted values with actual values uh, this one is actually true i think so go to a file check that's correct and entropy it is disorder that's everybody knows that so let's go to the next one which of the following is true about hierarchical linkage Every, every distance that's correct i think and that's correct so the goal for regression is to build a model to accuracy predict accurately predict the continuous value of a dependent variable for an unknown case and i think that's true so let's do a file check on here which of the following statements are true about linear regression yes definitely it's about uh, fitting a, a straight line onto your cluster and then is the equation for which can be used to predict yes a straight line is always used to predict the continuous value of y so that's correct and i don't think that's what that's correct so yeah for ninth one the sigmoid function is the main part of logistic regression where sigmoid gives us the probability of a given long instead of that's correct so let's do that and in comparison to supervised learning and supervised learning as uh, i think it's a it's less test or a better i think less test that's correct yes so the points that are classified by the density based clustering and do not belong to any clusters are outlier that is true because if there is a point that is not lying in the cluster is definitely an outlier number 12 which of the following is false about linear regression so it is used for uh, finding outliers that's correct and it is i think that's the only one correct so let's check that which one is of the following statement is most accurate machine learning is branch of ai that covers the statistical and learning part of the artificial intelligence i think that's correct let's do a final check so that's correct now which of them are supervised learning so k means and clustering is not supervised learning and classification regression k and n is supervised learning so that's correct a bottom up is called divisive uh, i i think it's called agglomerative so they're confusing with that so i think that's false statement let's yes select all true statements related to hierarchical clustering with k means so i think k means is is more efficient i think that's that's a true statement and hierarchical hierarchical clustering does not require the number of clusters to be specified that's true this one i don't think that's true so let's do that yes what is content based recommendation system it's based on profile so i'll look for the profile keyword and do a final check i think that's correct before running agglomerated clustering you need to compute a distance proximity matrix which is a n by n table of all distances between each point in each cluster of your data set i think that's a true statement let's do a final check so that's correct meanwhile we can also go back to check our progress you know in between but before that let's keep going can db scan can be used when examining special data not sure about that db scan can be about that's incorrect 
I think that's true. Can find that's incorrect. So I'm not sure about this one. So since this is wrong, so I get two submission and I could try any two. And if I still get wrong, then it's a wrong answer. So this is a wrong answer. And then in recommender system, cold start happens when you have a large data set of users who have rated normally a limited number of items. So I think that's a false statement. So yeah, uh, now I have completed all 20 and I think one is wrong. I could end my exam. I could go to my progress bar. I think it would prompt me once more if I have to submit my timed exam and I said yes. And now I go to the progress. You have submitted your exam. Your, you, your grade for this timed exam will be immediately available so you don't have to wait for looking for your progress report. So you could just go to progress report and you see 94% and I did score a good percentage of marks here and now I could request my certificate. So once I request my certificate that would be also my bar here. So this is to certify that I successfully completed and received a passing grade in machine learning with Python online course cognitive class and will be validated by going to that I could print the certificate. I could just print the certificate processing. I go to certificate and badges, certificate and badges. So I'd be able to see my certificate and badge for this particular course over here. Now get your badge, view certificate. Now you could go to claim your badge. You've earned a machine learning with Python level one. And you will receive an email from a claim that you know you make sure to check your other badges to keep learning so i am now i have received a badge as well so this was the whole process of getting a badge inside cognitive class dot ai machine learning with python and you know quickly i could do it and then once you do that you could go to a claim a claim is it's basically a website where you have all your achieved certificate and badges so you could create an account there once you have using your email you could sign in and then you'll be able to see so you can sign in and you'll be able to see your badge over here so that's how we looked at everything and we are able to find out how to you know get certified onto a particular course and how to gain a badge and now we can also find out about in our, from our second link, go to cloud, and that's where we can bill for free. Once you get those 1200 US dollars in credit, that's where you can sign up with your email, first name, last name, and you'll be able to create cloud, one, create your account, and you'll be able to work on cloud. So over there, you can develop apps, you can do AI analytics, and you can do much more than that. And you get all those information once you log in or once you just open the page. So thank you all. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. And my advice to all the BTEC people, all the all the uh, bachelors in technology people, all the bachelors in engineering folks, anybody who's doing a master's program in computer science or a bachelor's program in information technology or computer science, please feel free to utilize all these resources. These are free of cost to you and you get ton, tons of useful information over here. All these modules are designed by PhD professors and all these exams are like real good based on the learning that you get using these modules or learning through these modules. And thank you so much guys. I'll, I'll keep posting all the good videos and hopefully you like it, you subscribe it and you enjoy it. Thanks so much. All the best for your career path. Thank you.